We will close the rally with a closing prayer offered by Pastor Stephen Curran of Faith Fellowship Church in Jersey Shore, followed by Alex. Can we thank Sarah for all her effort and work and having the courage to stand? All the speakers did very well and excellent, especially like that lady right there. Who is, you know, she, she stirs me up all the time at home as well. Amen. I wonder if we can just close up our eyes in prayer. Father, it's been a tremendous, tremendous day. This past hour and 15 minutes, Lord, hearing things from people's hearts, how they believe and how they feel about this mandate. And Lord, we know it must be disturbing, more disturbing to you, because you're the creator of all life. You're the, you're the God who given us, who's given us these unalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we know that these rights cannot be surrendered. And they will not be sold nor transferred to any other. So Father, with that in mind, we, we thank you that our founding fathers have they, they laid their lives down so that we can be here today to enjoy these rights. And God, to be here today to pray publicly in this, on the steps of this federal building. Father, we thank you for our freedoms. We thank you, God, because you, your word says that you rule in the heavens above in the affairs of the kingdom of men. And God, we know that if you can stir the heart of King Cyrus, as mentioned in the book of Ezra, for he allowed the, uh, gave, gave the Jews their, their freedoms from, from bondage to go back and to, to worship you. God, that you can stir in the heart of this administration. God, you can stir in the hearts of our leaders to turn their thoughts from evil to righteousness. So Father, we pray according to Timothy, we're to pray for our leaders and those in government. We pray, God, that you would, protect, that you would guide their hearts and their thoughts. And Lord, we believe that if, if they're not going to change and go your way, then move them out and bring someone else in who's going to follow your ways. Father, today we pray that you would protect those that are working, working to, to protect our freedoms, working to protect life. Give courage, fortitude to those who are willing to stand, as we've seen today, to stand in the face of adversity and ridicule because they believe your word. Father, we thank you for this great nation. And we ask your blessings once again on this great country. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen.